Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saigon and we're playing uh, the better one of this mod on Legendary Iron Man difficulty. I lost a little bit of footage in between the last mission and this one, so let's uh, get everyone up to speed. Not particularly much happened. We're still in the process of trying to get to South America, which is quote unquote almost done. We have finished our research for the first mobile suit, so we now got grappling suits. Of course, not on the missions, uh, but our soldiers now can uh, start uh, obtaining them. And we got one prototype even of those. And now it's time um, already for the uh, mission uh, that we kind of put as optional. We had an infiltration mission for um, for a supply rate going. I swapped out the SWAT a little bit and we got up to 18% infiltration status. Still 35 uh, corpses if we were successful uh, with it. And we got a pretty solid team here. Dark Tower Naxos, uh, Zirkim, Divad, uh, Mike Bravo, uh, all pretty well known names. Uh, Sane also uh, with us. So we got uh, cover removal. We got a lot of firepower, ranged firepower as well. We got a few uh, frontliners, another assault um, as a frontliner, a specialist for support, Bob Ross. And we got uh, a skirmisher who's going to support us. So, excuse me, it's a little bit late here uh, when I'm recording uh, these. Uh, so we got a good team, and uh, I'm pretty psyched to go head, uh, toe to toe with uh, 35 enemies. Uh, let's see what this mission is going to bring. I can predict we're probably going to be in for two parts of this video, so part one and part two. But let's see, maybe I can uh, solve the mission a little bit faster. All right, here we go. All right, we landed with eight soldiers. And only got one concealed uh, or shinobi. But good news is the map itself looks reasonably lar large in size. Oh yeah, it's pretty big. I like it. So that'll give us a chance that we're not immediately running into dozens of enemies. Uh, we don't have a natural vision barrier, so we might end up getting ambushed from two different sides. Looks like hostile over here. Okay, I completely retract my statement. Um, yeah, that's like what? 20 enemies right away. Perfect. Oscar miking everyone. I want to make sure that we find solid positions in the first round for everyone. Sniper takes his position over here. I hate it when we're starting in the corner. Zirkim uh, takes his position over here. Should not trigger anyone. Okay. Harbringer, there's nothing to... Well, this one here could be grappled. There's really nothing that we could grapple. With 18 hit points, um, he can be a frontline fighter. 
Now that would already trigger the first pack. That would trigger as well. So let's put him here. Rockets. Rockets are important. Therefore... Let's put Dark Tower in a position where he can definitely shoot a rocket and hit everyone. Mike Bravo. We have so limited amounts of cover. Might as well put him over here. I also don't want to cluster up because that's exactly what we don't want uh, to happen. Steady the weapon. I am watching. I like steady weapons specifically for him. And Zirkin is overwatching. Mike here can steady his weapon as well. Perfect timing, by the way, for Chosen to also appear on top of it. Because 35 enemies are definitely not enough. And we got a Warlock. <coughs> Beautiful. He can summon Advent Troopers. Uh, Overwatch at the end of the turn does uh, not trigger Overwatch shots. It's easy to hit from high ground and hates Templars. Well, we don't have Templars, but we can maybe get some high ground going. See the face of your ruin. Only 40 hit points. That is easy. up a unique signature one of the chosen is here that thing is only going to make trouble for us until we deal with it well so far we haven't triggered anyone But the enemy might be walking into us. They are barely out of line of sight. It might. Yeah, they trigger. Uh, we've triggered them. Okay. Let's hope they don't spot out uh, the um, Shinobi. Elsewise. We will trigger the other packs as well. All right, that's five overwatches. And I think the second pack just triggered. Yep, absolutely. Don't even know if they have enough room to position themselves. But I certainly know that a rocket is going to be extremely valuable. Oh yeah.
So great example of no matter what we do, we would have been fucked. Uh, the entire enemy group gets their turn. It's not that only like two or three are getting their turn. Like we're li we're quite literally starting, and from the get go, the entire enemy uh, team begins to uh, jump onto us. And is that another um, ad? Oh come on! <laughs> All right, we just added eighteen enemies. We barely started. <laughs> this is so incredibly lame. And mind you, like I said, we're, we're, we don't even have a chance to react so far, right? Like, I was playing it hyper defensive. And now we've triggered 18 enemies. Oh my gosh. This is one of the problems of random spawns in Longmoor. They still haven't fully fixed it. It's a large map. There is really no excuse why you would be, end up in a situation. So just to kind of give you a taste, we have not done anything wrong. We haven't recklessly uh, advanced in any shape or form. Matter of fact, we went further back from the spawn. And XCOM has a soft rule, the standard XCOM, not Long War, has a soft rule that nothing can spawn in um, two vision ranges of your start to actually prevent that shit from happening. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 um, enemies up here. And I think one is mis missing, so that's two packs of seven. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 enemies just from the start. So be before anything happened, we have 22 enemies that are now fighting against us. This is just crazy. Okay. I'm not going to pretend that there is an easy solution for us to essentially get rid of like 400 enemies at once, because there isn't. The only thing that I can do is I can somewhat make it less totally fucked up. And one way how we can do that Essentially getting into sort of full cover over here or half cover. Half cover here is probably good. Um, and get down that sucker. I mean, full cover here is also good. We will just be open for shots from the Vipers. But that's a different story. How many explosives do we have? Can we explode the cars? Uh, so and so. A remote start would be awesome. We're probably going to use a lot of flashbangs, to be honest. Okay, so first things first. We need to get our Rocketeer freed up because a nice big fat Greek rocket into this section here hmm. and the world is going to look much much better in order to do that let's get rid of the 150 billion overwatch shots we're fortifying ourselves 
and I'm going to play aggressive because there is no point either this here is going to be a mess. It's also no point in evacuating now because I mean just for the sake of of uh, showing you guys. Nine turns. In nine turns we either have effed up the entirety of the enemies or we're going to be dead. There's not going to be anything in between. So this here is going to trigger all of the overworld shots. And I think it's kind of 15, 16. Yep, lightning reflexes, keep it going, baby. Yep, yep, yep. That was like 10 overboard shots. Lost our protection. And we'll probably need to heal her. No, we're not going to kill the trooper, although that's a very promising idea as well. But uh, we're hopefully going to kill him. Oh, thank you. That will also solve for the massive frame drop. Here we go with healing. Good. Now, time to change gears a little bit. Fortification? Absolutely. Absolutely. We have steadied our weapon, which means our rocket launcher should be pretty, pretty stable. Only very minor um, deviations, so that's like what? One, two, six, seven. And on, if we were to Shoot this one here, it's like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we can hit over here. We could hit this one here. That would be the absolute optimum. Let's see about it. Bringing the pain. Bringing the pain. All right, that's only one down. Problem is, again, not the damage fall off, but here <coughs> we see another topic uh, with Long War. Not only is there damage fall off, but every grenade only has a maximum like set of damage. So if you are spreading it across multiple enemies, the chances that they only get like hit for one or two points of damage increase substantially. Okay. No 
No point in complaining. We gotta kill shit. So moving over here into full cover and half cover from the front. And let's take out the stun lancer. Good to go. And actually deal with a couple of those guys. Also, Mike has, still has four points of uh, protection, so that's going to be helpful. Stun Lancer here is going to die. X -ray neutralized. Which is great. Divat. I like the idea of uh, the Rocketeer here. Seven to nine. Let's kill him first. We need to get rid of mass damage that the enemy can deal. That's another stun lance on that side, by the way. Which is going to be a problem, but one one thing at a time. Shit, we missed an 80% shot. That was almost necessary to hit. But the good part is we this year will trigger our hit and run so we can wait for a second and we do have a whiplash left over we're not going to waste it on the stun lancer also not on the sectoid purifier does nothing against us I'm wondering about the bad chances that we're having. Let's hit the Sun Lancer first. That trigger is hit and run. Unfortunately, we have again missed. So Whiplash onto the Stun Lancer. Lots of 80% shots that are missing now. Third 80% shot in a row that is missing. I would like to pre preserve uh, the uh, grenade here. Zirkim uses Fortify. Stun Lance 100%. Yeah, let's kill the Stun Lancer and advance to get a flanking spot. Zirke moves from half cover into different half cover, but essentially sets up a flank for next turn. Okay, we got one more flashbang. We're running out of actions. I mean... Big fat flashbang over here. That that for instance would be a really nice flashbang. Could use could move over here. We definitely need to get him involved in the combat.
Mm. We will need to use flashbangs massively just to kind of survive the first round. We just have too many enemies at the same time. This is crazy. So much explosives and shots that are going to happen. I don't know yet. So if we're going to use a flashbang over here. That's two, maybe three of these guys. Yeah, three of them can hit three of them. And I think that's a decent start. We do have the other alternative with a 50-50. And that's not really a good idea. I don't think uh, so. So that's one flashbang. Not necessarily dealing with the most uh, threatening foes. I think those four are the best pack that we can hit. Having those three here isn't a bad choice either. Because there are two grenadiers. Well, that w this way here we would also have two grenadiers, so yeah, that's a better choice. Be Unfortunately, the rocket dealt way too less uh, uh, damage. That didn't help us out a lot. Got an 8 protocol Sane. So his half cover essentially becomes full cover. Yeah, and now we're going to take a massive beating. It's gonna be like being kicked in the nuts over and over. We got 7 people disoriented, killed three or four and I mean we had like what 22 so that's still eight of them who are left unchecked some of them can't really do that much for instance these sectors yeah not not a big deal But yeah, this here is going to suck. No question. They can simply walk up to us, in some cases, and take shots. And there's only so much I can do, because, like, against 22 uh, people. Evacking, we already started that last round. Yeah, now we're fucked. That's why I wanted to get rid of all of uh, the uh, Rocketeers first. But I couldn't essentially deal with that guy. Yeah, it might be that Mike Bravo is going to die.
soldiers cannot last forever, Commander. Incoming fire. They do have really good cover removal as well. Okay. And Bob Ross unfortunately also doesn't have the healing powers yet. We do have a bit of healing, but that's pretty much it. Mike, for instance, is going to suffer immense. We can only heal him once and that's not even going to be full. Seems he's going to survive it. I'm all right. Take it heavy fire. <laughs> I don't need a chosen on top of it. I don't know guys, I think we need to ignore the spectral zone. Oh, wait a second, Bladestorm. That's not too bad. Well, we've been lucky with the Bladestorms. Not so lucky with the spectral rupture. That really stinks. And yeah, I mean, we got to move back further and essentially try our dearest to not get hit. See, the problem is by moving further back, we we'll also give them the chance to advance, right? Yeah, and that's indeed an issue. We could continue moving forward here and essentially pretend that we're just going in. Um, <laughs> we would get one of uh, those guys, that's for sure. Move up to here and start the ones that i really want to get are the grenadiers and the rocketeers specifically this guy here hasn't used this rocket yet he hasn't used this rocket yet so there are a few um a few great targets let's start with our sniper does he have a good shot on anyone or anything. Spectral zombies of course do not count, normal zombies do not count either. Hmm. You know the officer, not my biggest concern. Purifier. All of these here are 50-50 shots. Heavy Rocketeer, definitely someone who I'd really really like to kill. But I much rather take a two-third kind of chance. Hmm. 
Yeah, we do have a good chance of actually killing him normally. We don't need to use Dead Eye. So let's try the Advent Officer and hopefully it's not a grazing shot. Come on, buddy. <sighs> RNG is not on our side, that's for sure. Okay, we could, could burn all of these guys here. That's a good action economy. Where to move in all the way to here, sword kill him. That might be a bit much. Ah, that's too open of a position as well. He's too far in. We could try to go for that Viper here. Not the worst idea ever. Also gets us a bit further back. Essentially meaning that this flank here will need to come to us. We haven't taken any shots yet. So by sprinting we would minimize uh, the chance of them to hit us. I think we're going to do that. We're essentially going back. This here is going to trigger overwatch shots. Okay, so what are we going to do with Mike here? Mike needs, definitely needs some good solid loving. Move to here. Half cover, not the very worst. Before we do that. Let's make sure we know what we're doing. Good, so if I move up, I can kill the Viper. And we can move, move on. I think we also have our melee attack. So Bladestorm, that is. Which means if we position next to a sector, that would be an auto kill. So, killing the Viper, abusing hit and run, question is where do we want to position ourselves? We're immune against fire, so that's not a problem, we could position ourselves here. Instant reload. Could also position ourselves here. That's a very aggressive positioning. Could be flanked. So yeah, probably over here. So next turn we can grapple. We might be mind, uh, mind controlled, but that's okay. We can kill that sector here. Ok, 
Okay, Siakim now needs to start killing. Reload. Zombie is definitely not a good target. Spectre Zombie, all of these are not good targets. Purifier could be a target, but I think we're going for the sector here. Three damage. Start killing him. That'll also kill the zombie. <sighs> are you fucking kidding me? Okay, we do have a plan B, but it's not a great plan B. Here's the teamwork. Alright, come on. At least a grazing shot. Okay. Got your promotion, that's good, buddy. Keep it going. We're walking all the way from cover to cover. That was strong. I like it. Mike here. Mike. Come on, bravo. bravo. We need you. Going for full cover right over here. So if we were to area suppress... It's not a bad thing. It's actually not a bad thing. Uh, also, to hit. A couple of good hits. 60% well, to kill him isn't bad either. Uh, might be something that we're considering. But before we continue, so now, the flamethrower. I said we wanted to use efficient, efficiently use our damage. Time to burn. Shit! I wasn't aware that the zombie sorry moon immune. Hmm. Ouch. Well, I do have an idea though. Spectral rupture is going to explode them. I just don't know the explosion radius. I think we're out of it. Uh, barely. Maybe not. Could move up to here. Again, would be flanked from a sector over here. But there are worse uh, things than a flank from a sector. We take one overwatch shot. But we can also kill one of them. And. It's a very aggressive position. But what are the alternatives? I can, what are the alternatives? Going back to here? Not really. This guy here is close to death. I mean, one other alternative is to move all the way back to here, right? It's maybe not the worst thing, which means they need to move up and have no one to shoot. Hmm. We do have Ever Vigilant, right? Yeah, which means we're even getting an Overwatch. Let's do that. I'm not the biggest fan of uh, retreat, but I also don't want to stand in a 
compromised position. I'd rather take the lightning reflexes here. And that's going to be an overwatch, which is fine. Good. We need to heal Mike. Good job. Now, this here will kill the spectral zombie, explode them. <laughs> Alright, this will not kill the spectral zombie, Saiken. How dare you think that? I think this one was the one that had spectral rupture on it. That prevented spectral rupture. It killed the other uh, zombie and one of the advents. Now shit continues to hit the fan. We need to get Bob Ross in position to use more of his flashbangs because we're going to definitely take some more hits. Single movement. Yeah, hopefully they're not using their rockets. Yeah, we're taking a lot of hits. Luckily, full cover means it's still a coin flip for them. This guy needs to die. Yeah, nice hit. Unfortunately, just barely didn't kill it. Yeah, we slowly but surely need to move further back. I think we're okay as long as we're continuing to move back. The side here should be fine. We're just going to ignore some of the enemy types. Sector definitely needs to die next. I don't want additional enemies here. And we also need to deal with the gunner. Oh wow, yeah, that's flanking and a critical. Yeah, we don't need more zombies now. Chosen can just chill for a second. Evac in seven.
So we got a zombie, which we don't care about. Advent Trooper, whom we could kill. Another Advent Trooper. We got the Rocketeer, and I think that's going to be our target here. It's a very dangerous enemy. There you go. Correction. He was a very dangerous enemy. Alright, that's one down. Viper a good target. Well, let's just continue with the Viper. Next up, time to kill the Sectored. We've cleaned up almost the entirety of this one flank here. Oh, of course, are you kidding me? Sectored survives with one HP. All right, moving up consequently to here. Sirgim has killed one enemy per round. By the way, I think we're going to leave the sector as is because we do have Blade Storm, and that may or may not kill the sector. So on this side, we essentially only have the Purifier. We don't care about him. These guys have completely crushed the opposition, which means it's quote unquote just this side. I mean, lots of 50-50s here. Grenadier and Heavy Rocketeer, just out of curiosity, if we were to area suppress. One, that's one, one, two. Uh, we could area suppress the Grenadier, and if someone moves into that area, this is actually a pretty decent uh, area suppression. I'll keep it in mind. He's still marked, so that's not a good sign. And I said I wanted to get Bob Ross more into the mix. So how far can he Flashbang. It's okay. I mean, if we were to give, uh, let him go to here, it'll be almost in flashbang distance. He has 12 hit points, so... That's fine, I don't like half cover. But we need some support here, guys. So only one 
we were able to hit two with a flashbang, I would even be considered uh, uh, considering to do it. Advent Trooper. 50-50. Let's just give it a try. Didn't work out. We can still um, area suppress over here. We could move all the way here into full cover. Yeah, let's do that. That's full cover, and I think it's a pretty solid spot. To Bob Ross will be the main target because he's in half cover, which means we're okay here in full cover. Purifier doesn't really count. What's our stun chance? 50-50. I'm almost more inclined to use a 40% chance to, to just kill someone. Everyone's barely out of range. I mean, we could move in to here, lay a massive fire, but that'll probably be a death sentence. I like the idea of reloading and area suppressing. This here is a good area suppression. It'll take, take away two. And everyone who's moving into this area takes area suppression for the time being as well and an overwatch shot. Yeah, 50% hit chance is all fine and dandy. But the guy is not dangerous, that's the problem. We could move all the way over here. That'll give us another overwatch shot against the sector and one against his movement, and we would be out of out of um, line of sight for most of them. Hmm. 40% is not a great odd, but if we're, you know what, if we're overwatching, it's not going to get better because shotguns are not good for overwatching. They are good for breaching. We would need to essentially be up their face and move up to here. And in order to do that, uh, we need to flank them. In order to flank them, I need to get around a flank, and that's why I'm moving here. Because we can still have the overwatch, plus we get some loot. And we're not losing anything by doing so. Forty eighty-four percent is great. That's also uh, good. Damn, he has some really nice aim. I think we're going for the rocket here. Here. 80% hit chance, pretty solid chance of actually killing him. That'll save our uh, cover. 
and we just lost the mark which means we're in full cover with everyone short of Bob Ross. Bob Ross is only visible by two guys and those two guys currently have suppression. The only rocketeer that's left over has no rockets so we're fine. They suck when it comes to uh, hitting targets. Yeah, and we're spreading out the damage a bit. Pretty tough spot still. It's extremely rough. Luckily, those guys here are all um, pretty well covered from the area suppression. So it's either full cover or area suppression. Yeah. Good job, buddy. There's the blade storm. Come on, kill. Yeah, great. And that will kill the zombie as well. I love it when a plan is successful. Can't believe, by the way, guys, that we are even standing up against this enormous amount of bullshit here. Hundred percent chance to kill the trooper, I love it. I think we're going to do exactly that. There's really no reason not to do it. Happy now. Yes, I am happy now. I am matter of fact pretty obs obscenely happy. Good. Moving closer. Come on, buddy. Shite. Got the hit and run. Fortunately, we need to reload. The idea was great. Execution was, yeah, so and so. I'll deal with him in a second. At the moment, he's not dangerous. Hmm. Can't just charge in like madmen, that's not gonna work out.
Don't have run gun yet. We don't have run gun yet. Moving to here and giving him a shotgun would be a satisfying moment. All right, Bob Ross moves into full cover. Closing on target position now. The odds for hitting are not good enough. But we can nicely flashbang. Fortunately, not too far. I like being here. We could give it, we could make that full cover with a protocol for once. And then slowly but surely continue moving forward. That's not a bad idea. All things considered. Yeah, let's get rid of this schmuck here. Come on, focus. Interesting. No longer a threat. Moving over here. Moving to designated position. Getting closer into a shooting position again. And I think I've decided we're going to go a bit aggressive here. Dark Tower gets the 8 protocol. Moves up to here. That'll be one overwatch shot. Hmm. So honestly expecting to dodge that. This engineer should be down. Still got ammunition. Give him another action. I think it's not a bad idea. Mike's moving up. Copy that. Again into full cover. 60% for kill. Let's go for that. Still Minimum damage and grazing. I want to flank, but now it's, it's not the right time. Moving into full cover. And 37% is better than nothing. Get it together. Okay, Dark Tower has the best chances to actually finish someone else. And will also be the center of the attention for them next turn. 
That's a high percent chance to finish those guys. I like the officer. We probably can't kill him. Same here. Same here. I mean, we could kill him, basically lay fire so that no one's going to approach us. No, that is better. That's the best. Two hits. And both are burning. Okay, perfect. That was a really, really good and smooth play. I like it. Basically eliminated both of them for now. Soon zombies are going to show up again. And we're slowly but surely fighting our way through advent forces. The good aspect about what happened is, I mean, we're fighting against, like, what, 35 enemies? And we found out that we've pulled 23 or 24 and in the very beginning, plus uh, the Chosen. Yeah, the logical consequence is there's only one or two more picks uh, on the map. Might take some more hits. With each new wound, your troops grow weary of your failures. That was close. Yeah, there are the spectral zombies that I was talking about. And by looking at the situation, gosh, I, I definitely wanted to play a quick mission. You guys are my eternal witness, but this is going to be the exact opposite of a quick mission. This is the exact opposite. What I am going to say though is after it's now almost one and a half hours again after that time I know it sucks but uh, YouTube doesn't like uh, to upload like two three or four hour videos and I just can't change the fact that fighting 40 enemies uh, plus summonings on top of it is a slugfest. So we're going to cut it uh, here. Um, there is still a lot ahead of us in this mission, so this is far from over. We still got like what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven enemies left over, uh, plus the chosen, plus probably two more picks. And we're running out of resources. We took a pretty uh, decent punch. If you look though, uh, all things considered, just where we stand, it's a fucking miracle that we're still alive with everyone. So, thumbs up for this uh, hard-fought victory. Truly enjoyed playing it. And if you want to see the next mission, then stay tuned. Uh, we see each other in two days. Thank you for, so much for watching and take care. Bye-bye.